Okay, I'm going to show you my white fishing bag of tricks. Here, I'm going to take out the rods that I use the most. I got three of them. And I have one that's got a, that I use as a term it as a call lure. That's a larger size 5 jigging wrap. And when you bounce the spade off the bottom, the bait actually kind of swims like this goes all different directions and it hits the bottom makes a noise and that calls whitefish in. I can't remember a time that that didn't work out there fishing. So here we have the number five jigging wrap right here and I also tip all three of these hooks on the bottom. The treble hook has three points and every one of those three points on that hook all impale a Wax worm. And these are wax worms right here, just in case you don't know. All the bait shops carry them, especially in the winter. And we're going to pound it on the bottom, get some attention. Whitefish are very curious, they want to know what's going on. There's one already. Oh yeah, oh it's a nice fat one. Oh yeah, come on up here. Come on up here. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. And my next rod, this is a number three jig and wrap. And this one I'll just tip that one single front point of the treble hook. And this is the, the lure that uh, more aggressive whitefish is going to grab. You're going to call them in with the larger bait, and sometimes they bite that larger bait, but most of the times they don't. And you're going to bring that one up right away as soon as you got them in the area. You'll see it on your flasher, and you drop in the smaller one, and you'll catch that. Far. Oh, got him. Oh, he's a nice one. <sighs> Got another one. Got him. number three today is February 4th 2016 and I already have six white fish in a box three of them I caught on a little rat finky and three of them on a number three jigging rat we got something going right now going after my swivel Ooh, touched it. It's 
coming back. Oh, touched it again. Oh, no, I got him. <laughs> Come back at it a second time. It looks like a bigger one. Oh, he got off right at the hole. <laughs> He's sitting right down there. Oh. He's down there again right away. There we go. Number 10, if we can get him in here. Oh, yeah, we got him. That's our limit. <laughs> A lot of times, and then in those periods of time when the fish are very lethargic, then I use this. It's a rat finky. And I'll put one wax worm on it. I got a little sink around here. They help get the bait down. And I use two pound test line, which is very light for whitefish. But if you take your time, you'll get them in. And of course, at the top of the rod, I have a spring bobber. Help detect the bites. Pulling this line here. <laughs> right at the ice. There it is. First white fish in a couple of years. Oh, that's good. Don't put it on right here. Little one. We'll take it. Got him that time. He inhaled that bait. It's way down in there. Oh, jeez. I was just going to bring it up. 
that just like that we got a fish on it. I got two pound test lines, so I gotta really take it easy. It's a little one. It's okay, we'll take it. Oh jeez, get back in here. <laughs> These things are slippery. Maybe slimy is a better word. <laughs> okay, it's number eight. All right, I should also talk about the rods that I'm using. With the larger, the heavier baits, I'm using this medium action rod, it's a 25 incher. This particular model is called a Polar Lights. I like it because it's a light rod and it's stiffer. If you get a little bump, it'll easily transmit that bump to your handle real quickly. And with the number three jig and wrap, the smaller bait, the lighter bait, I've got a very light rod. This is a 24 incher and it's called a Mini Mite number 701. I really like this one. It's got uh, very soft tip in terms of uh, you know for a jigging rod and it's it's able to come up a lot of times these whitefish come zooming up from the bottom and they grab the bait and all of a sudden it's light you can see it's bending and when I bring it up it comes up because it has that flex that's the indicator and of course on the very small baits with this rat finky, I also have a little split shot here, but on the top of this rod, I have a spring bobber, which is everything. A lot of times, these white fish will come in and grab it, and it just, just, just barely moves. You can just barely notice it. Of course, then you set the hook. Now, I like to use this spring bobber with a little bit stiffer rod, so I can get a hook set on the fish. And this doesn't have any markings. I bought it on clearance, so I don't even know what it is. It's a short rod, looks like a 20 incher. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>